93 in Sanford right now, 90 in Augusta, 89 in Bangor. And of course, the real story of today, the dew points, really, really high. 77 in Lewiston, still down to 75 in Portland. Uh, thanks to Chris at the National Weather Service in Gray for doing the analysis. We were all struggling to figure out what the highest dew point Portland's ever um, hit. And we hit 77 a few times, but we've never hit 78 until today at 1 o'clock or 1251 officially. So it's the highest dew point ever recorded, the highest humidity as far as what it feels like on your skin ever recorded in Portland. It's pretty wild, but I'm sure you're saying, yeah, that sounds about right if you were outside at all today. Most of us are clear. We've got some thunderstorms though popping up right now, coming out of the mountains. We'll keep an eye on these. Right now they're not severe, but they're kind of multicellular as they move eastward and then the severe weather's to our south. So we'll just see if any of those get strong. Uh, it doesn't look like it at the moment. Whether or not you get a shower or thunderstorm tonight, it is going to be mild, uh, uncomfortably so. Temperatures in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees through a lot of the night, dropping down only probably to 72, 73, and the dew point will be about the same, so very sticky air. And that sets us up for tomorrow, which will be easy to get to the upper 80s and low 90s again. A smidge cooler than today, but I'm nitpicking. I don't think you'll notice much of a difference. Saturday, first half of the day looks really good. The front that comes through on Saturday afternoon has looked a little bit weaker in the last couple of model runs, so it may be not everybody gets in on these showers and storms in the afternoon on Saturday. It's just a transition of the air mass that'll uh, move us over to a drier, more comfortable air in time for Sunday. Sunday, though, looks fantastic. And so I submit this may be the best stretch of weather, at least so far this summer. June was great, no doubt about it. But if you go from today to next Thursday, I don't know, it's kind of hard to beat. Got a shower or thunderstorm in here on Saturday. Beautiful Sunday, beautiful Monday, nice on Tuesday, nice on Wednesday. Not until next Thursday that we have a chance of any showers coming back into the forecast. So I, I think, yeah, this is, if it's kind of got everything. If you like the heat, we've got that. If you don't, it settles down. So it'll determine whether you're a heat lover or not, which day you like better this weekend. If you come away and say Sunday was better, then you're not into it, right? But Saturday will be kind of a sneaky hot day, probably getting to the upper 80s along the coastline before those showers and storms come through. Beautiful in there Monday, Tuesday, and then uh, partly cloudy on Wednesday. There is some tropical moisture around, guys, late in the week that could give us a chance for some showers. But um, until then, again, just a really, really nice stretch of weather. Can I say one thing in my defense? Yes. Wu-Tang Clan was big in the 90s. I yes. had babies in the 90s. Right. Therefore, lost decade of music for me. Here's the thing, Cindy, to be honest with you. If you guys weren't still on top of it in general, I would have let that slide. <laughs> But I know that in general you kind of with like especially the music scene and stuff yeah. because of Xander. Well, so that's we why do I now. Have to, but honestly, right. you'll, you'll figure you'll, a gap you'll in there. see that the, the, say, the 2020s yeah. are going to be a lost decade of music for you. Right. You're going to be listening to you know Rick Charette and Raffi. You right. know, I, some ring, 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 banana phone. Some of the some of the Grammys, I was like, Big I have no mud. idea who this is. Mud. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I believe it. All right, thanks a lot. <laughs>